Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer with another video for Angular Material series. This time we will work with a sort header from Angular Material and here you can see such an example. Here I do have some kind of table and when I hover over these headlines, I can see this arrow pointing to the top. If I click on any of these headers, those will serve me as a sort headers and they will sort the data inside. So if I click on age, I can see that the numbers are from smaller ones to the bigger ones, then I could reverse those as well here. So this is the example that we will build today for this sort header. The table itself is quite a simple table, we won't use material table here because, well, we still didn't work with the tables from material in this series. Also be sure to check out my website and also sign up for my newsletter. Here on my website you will be able to find all of my tutorials and courses that I have on multiple platforms. Now let's start with this tutorial. First thing that I will do here is generate my component for that sort header component. To do that I will use command of ng, g for generate, c for component and I will generate the component in components slash sort header and that's it. Once my component is generated I can open up my app.component.html file and here first of all I will hide this snack bar from the last video. If you wish to check that video you will have a link down in the description of this one and after it here I can use sort header as a comment. I will use app sort header selector here which is the component that we just generated and ending comment which will say end of sort header. As usual for all Angular Material components we need to import a proper module, so for that I will visit my app.module.ts file. Here first of all I've, I will move my sort header component that I just generated outside of this material components and here now I can import my mat sort module and I will import that from at angular slash material slash sort. Here also pass this mat sort module down in imports array so we could use this sort header component. The first thing that I will do is create some data that we will use to render that data inside of our table. So for that I will open up the sort header.component.ts file. And here simply I can create the property of user data. Let's say that we will work with some kind of users and this user data will be the array of users. So first user here will have a name of John Doe. Then I will add the age of 24 and is employed can be set to true for example. So my user is John Doe with the age of 24 and the user has a job. Then I can copy this four more times. Let's change the values to for example Jane Doe, then Michael Doe, then I can use Jacks Doe, whoop, I mistyped, Jacks Doe and then Jennifer Doe. For the age let's change that as well. 18, then 33, then 45, and let's use 27. And for this is employed property, I will use true, true, false. Uh, this one will be also true, and false here should do the work. Now, from here, we can open up the HTML file for this sort header component and create some markup, create our table that we will use here. First of all, I will create div just to wrap my table and inside I will create a table. This table can use style attribute which will use width with 500 pixel, then margin can be 50 pixels top and bottom, auto for left and right and after it I will use also text align just to put the text in the center. Now for my table I can create like here table heading, table body and so on, but I will just go with some simple example. So I will immediately use table row here and this first row will be our headlines. So the first headline will be user name. That, then let's copy this two more times. The next one will be for the age 
and the last one will be just for well is employed if the user is employed then down below what i will do is create another row and this row will render our data that we just generated this user data so here for this row i can for example use ng4 directly to loop through my user data and for each of those i will render the specific html so here i will use the let of user well let user of user data so now i have access to this user variable which is each user inside so now inside in table data elements i can render the data from that user here i will property bind first of all user dot name and why first name well the first headline is for name then i can copy this two more times as well but the second one will be for the age and the third one will be for this is employed and that should do the work in my local host i can already see the table so i guess that everything is rendered correctly and now we can just use that sort header component to be able to sort our data uh, in this table to use a sort here in my table i will mo move this style down a bit and we need to specify to, to this table that we will use that sort component and to do that we must pass attribute of math sort next to this attribute we can also event bind here math sort change which will well whenever the change happens whenever we sort our table we can do something here so for me i will create sort data method and just send the event to this sort data which event this will be well here what i wish to do is when i click on for example user name i wish to send the name as the attribute here for my event that way i will be able to catch that name here in my typescript and sort the data by the name to do such a thing for each of our headlines here we must pass attribute of math sort header and this here well should hold some value for this first one which is username the value will be just name let's copy this two more times for the age here and also for is employed let me copy it from here that's it now we can simply create our method so go into typescript and here after my ng on init i will create this sort data method we already know that this data will get that event and that event will be just the type well the property that we wish to sort by so here i will specify the sort and the type of this sort will be sort which must come from at angular slash material slash sort that way we will be able to check if that sort has some kind of direction should be sorted by ascending or descending if the sort is active and so on so here i can just invoke this uh, well open up this method and start working on it first of all what i wish to do is not to sort my data here but i will create a copy of the data so to do that i will create a const of data and set it equal to this dot user data dot slice that way i will grab the whole data and just copy to the data itself here now i also don't wish to sort my data if there is no sort well parameter here or even there is well the direction is not specified and both of those things angular material should handle on its own but still we can double check here and if there is an error we don't need to sort anything so here i can just use if and for this if statement i will check if there is no sort that active so if the sort is not active or if sort that direction is equal triple equal here just to an empty string and you can see it here that we have options for ascending or descending well we wish here to check if uh, there is no direction if there is no uh, direction here i will just use this that user data to be equal to my data which means that the user data will be the same basically this one here and here what i can do is just return so i don't wish my code after this line of code to run because there is no need there is no sort of direction or the sort is not active but now we can sort our data here and to do that i will use my this that user data which is our main array of data and i will set it equal to my data which is the copy of our main data 
and use sort method on it. There is nothing specific to this sort method. This is just usual sort method from JavaScript. This sort method usually gets two items like A and B, for example, and we will have some kind of method here. Well, we will use an uh, arrow method here. First of all, what we need to do is to be sure that we have some kind of direction and we can store even that direction here. So inside of this sort, I will use const of is ASC, so to double check if the direction is ascending, and I will set it equal to my sort that direction, and I will check it if the direction is ASC, right? So if that is the case, then is ASC will be true. If that is not the case, it will be false. So now how can we sort our data? So here I will just present to you the easiest, probably the easiest way for you to sort the data on all fields. And also, well, this is probably the most used way with Angular material as well. What is suggest to use in this sort method is to use switch statement. That way we will be able to switch by these properties of name, age and is employed depending of the sort itself. If the sort is equal, for example, to a name, then our switch statement will execute just the code for that case, for a name case. And inside of that code, we can compare each of our users here and sort those by name. Also for that comparing, we will create a separate method because that way we will keep our switch statement more, well, clear and also uh, easier to use. So after this sort data, I can immediately create my method. I will name it compare data. And this method will accept three properties. So basically the first property will be the property itself, like a name, age of uh, a or is employed. Then we will accept the second property, which will be for the B user. Again, name, age or is employed. And the third property will be our is ascending just to well compare all of those. So here in my compare data, I will accept a, which can be a number or it can be a string or it can be a boolean right let me double uh, well proper properly write this here boolean why well our name is a string our age is a number and our is employed is a boolean so yeah our a can be all of those values here also now for the b will be the same right so I can also break this down a bit so you could see it better so we have a and b and the last thing that we wish to have is is ASC, so is uh, direction ascending. And that will be just the Boolean because here we are checking if the sort direction is equal to ascending. If that is the case, it will be true. If that is not the case, it will be false. So now what should we do in our compare data? So here I can simply return some value, which will be the order basically. And here what I can do, I can check if a property, well, yeah, should be in front of a b property if that is the case i will return i will return minus one if that is not the case i will return one this is just the usual thing that we use with sort method so basically we can return one or minus one so if we would uh, order our numbers from one to five it will be one otherwise it will be minus one and then what i wish to check is also multiplied here by is asc to double check if the ascending is true, if that is the case, I will return one. Otherwise, I will return minus one. So this here is probably the right operation that we wish to use, which will return uh, all of the properties sorted. Well, the property that we wish to sort by, and it will return it by, based on a direction. So now here we can simply use our switch statement. So in my user data, I will use switch, and this switch should have something to compare it by. So here I will use sort that active. That way I can check if the uh, sort that active is equal to a name or an age or is employed. Let's create the first case in our switch statement. The case will be called name because we will check if the sort active is equal to a name. So here what I can do for this case, I will here immediately return. And what I wish to uh, return is this that compare data method that we used that we just created and this compare data needs to well it needs to have three values the first value will be a user that name because we are sorting by the name here then b user that name and the finally is asc constant 
that we have here. So here I can grab this case and just add few more cases like this. Oh, let me fix this up a bit. Here it is, now it is much better. So the next case will be for the age and now instead of A name and B name I will send A age and B age. And finally it will be for is employed and we can check for the A is employed and B is employed. And also in the switch, the switch statement we can have a default case. So use default here. And this default can just return false or even return zero here because it's not important for the sorting because usually we will have all of these and if there is an error our if statement here will catch the error and we won't even sort. So now we can test this. Here we do have still our headlines and those will have these arrows when we hover over those which means that in HTML when we, where we passed our math sort properly worked. So if I click on age here it should sort my age and here it is. If I click again, it should reverse that direction from, from descending to ascending. Now for the name, well, here it is, it does work. Otherwise, the Michael is first. For is employed, we will see false values, then true values, and otherwise we will see true values and then false values, which means that our math sort uh, component fully worked here. And I also know that this switch statement and the code that we wrote could be maybe complicated, but you can find a similar code in a documentation of Angular material. So when you need to use it, you can follow up with this video as a reference or even through the documentation and you are good to go. Well, at least until you fully learn it how to use it. But now this will be all for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to ask those down below and I will surely answer you. And again, be sure to visit my website where you can find all of my tutorials and courses as well and the link to this website you will have down in the description of this video and this will be all guys thank you all for watching if you liked what you saw please click like and subscribe as i am posting a new content weekly uh, thank you once again and i will see you in my next video bye bye